What's up guys, it's Tom here and I'm starting the modding tutorials. So yeah, as a lot of people have been doing out in the Google and YouTube and stuff, um and internet, I'm gonna make some um modding tutorials, sorry. So I'm just gonna go straight into it. So first what you need is the MCP which is the Minecraft Coder Pack and there will be a link in the description or you can just type MCP in Google um, and you get to this page mcp.ocean.labs.de now you want to get uh, mcp7.x which is mcp7.2 or 1.3.2 and you will just download the mcp which will give you a zip file Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. That'll make it like a lot easier for you guys. So, first of all, you get the MCP dot seventy no MCP seventy two dot zip. So you have to get you have to get WinRAR WinRAR first, and I would say, guys, that you should have knowledge on uh, how to install mods and how the uh, Minecraft Java works. So, for an example, you would you should know how to go to App Data. And you should know how these stuff works and what they are for. Like what's in the bin, which is the Minecraft jar, and what's in the mods folder. Why is the mods folder there? And it's because the mod loader is installed. And um, yeah. So and have basic understanding on how this this work. Like I can just tell you that, for example, my mod instant mod is downloaded. So it's in a folder called Jailbreak. It's instant and the textures. And yeah. So, what you want to do after you get MCP? Uh, this is just my cool game I made. And, um, nearly, you can. I'll be <laughs> actually gonna send a link in the description to this game because it's quite awesome. Um, yeah, you get the MCP seventy two, and then you get Eclipse, which is not necessarily needed, but I really, 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 really prefer you guys to get it. So it's Eclipse downloads. Or if you not end up in the clips, you will end up on this. Just press downloads, and whatever you have, Windows, Linux, Mac, and whatever bit you have, uh, go to uh, computer. Or if you're on an old computer, you can choose uh, this computer or something like that. Um, choose what bit you. Have. Oh yeah, you go on. I just told you to go on computer here. Yeah? Go into system properties. Sorry, it's in Danish. System properties, and here it is, 64-bit. So, yeah, I'm, I would download this one and press here, and it will give me a zip file. Which within that zip file, there will be a folder called Eclipse, which is this one with all these files. Just ex put the folder on your desktop or something, and you have Eclipse downloaded. Now, what you do with the MCP is to make a new folder and call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this MCP Tutorial for Beginners because I'm going to start off with the beginner thingy. Oh, I keep doing this tutorial. Now, uh, extract files. I'm very, very sorry it's in Danish, guys. I will fix that in the next tutorial. MCP tutorial for beginners extracted and when you have that extracted you actually want to get a fresh minecraft so because I don't care oh yes I do oh I just nearly destroyed this one which is where I have my cool buildings I'll just put this on the desktop uh, yeah I can just delete this because I don't need it uh, don't close it, just minimize it and get a fresh Minecraft. Which you all should know what is. So, actually, this is open. Sound so, muted. <laughs> so, yeah, um, get a fresh Minecraft. And that's how you do it. Uh, you could also just force update. But yeah, it will all it will do because I haven't 
and then it download packages. Now in the meantime, we can go ahead and get the mod loader, which we will need uh, a lot because mod loader helps. It helps you load mods when you're installing them, but also when you're making them. And that's why you need mod loader for some mods because they chose they chose to use mod loader, and so did I. So you download the mod loader. And Minecraft is there. Just close Minecraft down. Go back here to Minecraft bin, Minecraft.jar, bin raw archiver, delete mater, delete mater inf, and install mod loader. When does that? And just you'll be all good. Close that down. Go back to here. Go to your MCP. I know I'm going too fast, but you have the MCP and the um, okay. Now you have MCP, just extract it to a folder, and you have mod loader installed in Fresh Minecraft. So you copy the bin and resources into the MCP jars folder with the server that probably is in the server that that is. And for some, it's just server and servers, I think, or server probably or something. And what you do now uh, is double click to decompile and this will take some time so I'm not going to do anything but if you get any errors you did some of these steps wrong just follow them uh, correctly with no things that you've done wrong and you'll build good. Now I'll just pause the video and I'll be back when it's done. So, Oh yeah guys I'm just going to say that uh, now it's in the middle of the progress. Now it's not in the middle it's almost done. But it would say errors found and it would say two out of two hunts ignored. So it doesn't matter, it's not errors. Don't don't worry guys, you're not you didn't do anything wrong found. Um Yeah. So I will start off out with uh this is the first tutorial, uh it is how to set up MCP with Eclipse. Now the next tutorial will be how to set up the mod underscore file and I'll be explaining a lot because it's for beginners and in the advanced tutorials uh, Minecraft modding for advanced modders I will be showing you alright it's done um, I will be showing you I will not be uh, explaining a lot of the basic stuff that I did in beginners but I will of course still be explaining like some methods and stuff and why did I do that instead of that and stuff? <coughs> so it's gonna be pretty fun. Now, one thing you have to do now is to open up your Eclipse, and as you can see in your MCP, uh, a lot of folders have been added. For an example, the SRC, which is the most important one. If you go into um, SRC Minecraft Net Minecraft SRC. Here's all the Minecraft source code, I believe, which is all the source code. Yeah, it's yeah. This is all the source code in Minecraft. <coughs> now we will be using that. And what you do now is in your Eclipse folder, uh, Eclipse, you double click the Eclipse.exe. It will come up with this Eclipse Juno. Now it would say select a workspace. I pretty sure it will do that. If it doesn't, um, I'm gonna show you how to set a workspace. If I can remember it, so you browse to um, the MCP, whatever you named it, and you browse to the folder called Eclipse. So down here it says Folder Eclipse. So and when you press OK, you should say C colon uses your um, your name and your computer desktop or whatever you put it, and then MCP tutorial for beginners, and then slash Eclipse. So. Now it's gonna load the workspace, and that shouldn't take so long for me because I've got a pretty fast computer. Yeah. Now you get this window. Now one thing we have to do be before I end this video is to, um, as you can see here, it says Java EE, which we will not be coding. We will be coding in Java. So there you go. You set the perspective to Java. And one thing you also have to do is to go to the client. SRC net.minecraft.src 
and there you go here you have all the source code which we will be using some of for an example we will be using the mod loader uh, this mod loader adds this called base mod which has a lot of things that we will be using for an example um, public void generate surface world variable 1 random variable 2 integer variable 3 and integer variable 4 which is a method that you use for spawning blocks in the world or generate surface or the generate nether which will spawn blocks in the nether or perhaps the add fuel which yeah adds a fuel so that's it guys for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I will be showing you how to set up the mod underscore file so that we can use it for making mods so yeah guys uh, like this video and go check out our work on planet minecraft and there will be a link to our account in the description and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and goodbye